Hi loves, Jay here from Omnipresent Tarot. Scorpio, welcome to your January 2024 general reading. Happy New Year to you. I'm wishing you a year filled with clarity, abundance, and finding your truths. This reading is for uh, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and those who are dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're old or new here, welcome back and welcome to the community. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss your final outcome for January. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my info is in the description box below. Okay, now let's get connected. I'll be channeling my messages from my, from my divine team throughout the reading. So let's tap into your collective spirit insights. I've already pulled some cards for you. We're going to get into your tarot and we're going to clarify each of those cards there. An affirmation that I pulled for you for the month of January, Scorpio, is I celebrate all the greatness in my life. I celebrate all the greatness in my life. I love that. Very vibrant energy, vibrant card there. I have chosen an angel number for you. And actually, I was looking at the angel number that this card flew out. And on the bottom of the deck was another card. And I felt like I would take both of them because look at that. If you're seeing the numbers 101 and 1001, if you're, those are your angel numbers for the month. 101 is starting over okay this card is connected to intelligence or this number is connected to intelligence dynamics making a difference failures personal or spiritual development if you're seeing the number 101 your angels are trying to tell you this happiness is linked to self-expression growth and experiences learning from failures is key happiness is real possible and around understand its process and the pursuit of it Joy is fluid. It's in the little things and the big ones. Fails, fails are, are fun. Start fresh. Okay, so that's 101. If you're seeing 1001, this is a spiritual awakening for you. New beginnings, personal development, prioritizing creativity, and heading in the right direction. Okay, so if you're seeing 1001, this message is a new phase in a religious or spiritual quest. You're going through a spiritual awakening, which can feel like the dark night of the soul. You're on the path to enlightenment, and this too shall pass. Okay, so those are your two angel numbers here for the month of January. And your crystal for this month is Green Aventurine. It is easy for me to maintain overall well-being with conscious habits of health. Okay. This green aventurine is your card for the month. This stone is going to help you maintain a healthy heart, improve beliefs about good health and overall well-being. It will help you increase healthy outlook on all levels, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And you guys are needing this if you're seeing this number 101 or 1001 um, because there are starting over in, in, in a spiritual awakening that you're embarking upon. Okay, Your uh, sacred... Self-care, act, act of self-care this month is connect with fire, okay? Connect with fire. This card is pretty cool. This is actually the first time I'm pulling this card out of this deck. The number 12 breaks down to a number 3, which is a card of creativity and abundance, okay? Also a card of connection. So some of you are needing to do some forgiveness work. You're needing to write letters, burn them, do a burning ritual, Connecting to that energy, letting go of things, um, things that you have been holding on to. Um, but again, connecting with fire. Let's hop into a couple more, actually a couple more oracles. Um, a chakra that you can focus on for this month here, Scorpio. Desires is coming out for you. So your sacral is what you can focus on during this month, your sacral chakra, okay? Desires. What do you desire is the question. That number 12 is, look at that. Number 12 again here, Scorpio. Number breaks down to a number three, creativity. So if you're seeing the number 33, um, think about c connection, connecting to yourself, connecting to your desires, connecting to your sexuality, your sensuality. That is what your sacral is about, vitality, sensuality, sexuality, your money, your creativity, um, how you relate with people, 
family, all of that stuff, being in the flow of that, also I'm feeling being vulnerable as well. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or have Pisces energy in your chart and really trying to explore different aspects of yourself, different desires that are coming up for you. This is about you focusing on your goals and passions. Um, you have a craving for something and you're wanting to be fulfilled in some sort of way. So what does that look like for you here, Scorpio? Okay, let's pull a few more cards for you. We have um, prosperity it lies ahead for you. Prosperity lies ahead. The new moon in Taurus. You can see when that's coming around for you. The new moon in Taurus. Um, prosperity is on the table for you. Be open, Scorpio, is also what I'm hearing. Communication is key. Okay, that new moon in Gemini. And um, Mercury, Mercury is the ruler of Gemini. Mercury is currently in um, retrograde going direct on January 1st. So some of you probably have felt like this energy of things coming up from the past. And maybe some of your desires have been coming up, resurfacing, trying to get your attention. It's a time for you to heal as well. This is why it'll be a good thing for some of you to um, do a burning ceremony, a burning ritual, so that you can let go of, of whatever you're holding on to, letting go of people, things, letting go of ideas, and I ideas that are sort of outdated at this point. You Something that um, you need to make room for, as I'm hearing. You need to make room for something new, so you need to let go of some of these old ideas, some of the things that you've been pro procrastinating on as well that it's, it's, it's sort of outdated at this point. So it's kind of like a move on energy. Your commitment is being tested as well. First quarter moon. All right. So um, your commitment may be tested in some sort of way during this uh, new year. Okay. During the beginning part of the first three months of the year, just to see, are you ready to transition to this new phase in your life here? Scorpio is the question you have to ask yourself, what do you desire? What do you desire? All right, let's hope those stay because <laughs> I need y'all to behave. I need you to behave. Okay, so yeah. So what do you desire, Scorpio? All right, so let's move into your tarot cards here. I'm going to get them all out for you and then we'll clarify each of those. Messages for Scorpio. We have the Page of Wands, the Nine of Wands, Page of Pentacles, the Fool, the Knight of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Okay, let's see what's going on here. That was loud. All right, messages for Scorpio, please. So in that overall position here, we have the Page of Cups. This is about optimism. Um, ideas that may be coming up for you. You uh, feel in a sense of um, being extroverted or there could be good news that's coming in for some of you. We have the Prince of Disc here. Some of you are focused on just having fun as well. And there's nothing wrong with that, that's for sure. <clears throat> we have the Empress showing up, another number three. And we have the Hangman. Okay, so Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, Libra. Okay, let's see what's coming up here. Uh, 
I'm feeling an energy of, of, of research or something. <laughs> research coming in or, um, I mean, not research coming in, but you researching something. Interesting. Good news could be coming in for some of you as well. Maybe this is good news when it comes to your finances or getting that promotion that you have been. Uh, maybe you also have gone on an interview and you're getting a new job as well. That could be coming up for some of you. Some of you are researching different industries as well during this month. You're thinking about a change. Um, some of you may be a little bit bored or just becoming rebellious in some sort of way. And you're like, I just have these all these grand ideas and I just want to venture off and do my own thing. I'm hearing to make sure you have everything set up too. Don't make um, abrupt decisions about just leaving something behind. Make sure that you have thought this out, whatever this is. But I do feel a fear, a fearless energy coming from you. This is why that card came out, the desires card, opening up that sacral chakra area of um, really exploring, exploring what is it, uh, what are your goals, what are you craving, what, what fulfills you, okay? So it feels like a new energy trying to um, emerge within you, um, but I'm also feeling that some of you are feeling stuck in something, okay? The empress energy here, maybe you're stuck in your finances, um, Maybe that could be coming up for some of you. I'm picking up that energy. This is not what the Empress means, but that's what I'm feeling for you. Some of you may be dealing with someone um, here. I'm, as I'm looking at the Empress in the looking at the Page of Wands, someone who might be a, a, um, a little bit immature or less experienced, um, maybe younger in age, um, could be dealing with a teenager here, could be dealing with just someone you're dating. Um, this could even be a coworker, a family member that some of you are dealing with that you're trying to care for or that you have been caring for. I feel like some of you are working, um, could be working multiple jobs to care for your family or something like that. And I'm feeling an energy of some of you are not feeling appreciated by something or by, by someone or multiple people. That energy is coming for you, which is, you know, why the next that obstacle is you feeling drained in some sort of way but I feel like this hangman is sort of in this in this position of <clears throat> sort of emptying you like something you're emptying out something okay you you're spending all your money someone's taking all your money um, some of you are just feeling empty in general in general it's almost like you have nothing else to give and it's maybe some, this is why some of you are wanting to have fun and step away from all of the things that you're doing because I do feel like you're caring for um, uh, you're caring for someone, but possibly multiple people because it feels like a drain. It feels like um, everything is exhausted. That's what it feels like. I feel like you're trying to be graceful through a situation, but um, it may be a little bit draining for you um, during this month. But most importantly is, um, is, to, is to remain optimistic and to have fun, okay? Be playful. But there is there is something that's coming in, an announcement or some news that's coming in for you that's going to help you through something. I'm going to pull another card on this. We have the rock star, the knight of wands. Okay, so now we go from the page to the to the wands energy here, okay? So some of you could be dealing with children that could be <laughs> exhausting you and um, just sort of depleting you of all your money, all your resources, your energy. This could also show up again, like I said, as a, as a romantic relationship. Some of you could be dating multiple people. There could be quite a few things here. It feels like it can be exciting, but there's uh, there's an this excitement is almost sort of exhausting in some sort of way. A very interesting energy here. The Ace of Cups. So I do feel like this is a relationship then that we're talking about. This is definitely a relationship. I feel like you're being fulfilled. This feels like more than one person, though, that you're being fulfilled by. Um, some of you may be ex escaping from your responsibilities of caring for other people and sort of getting out with friends, family members, friends, or coworkers, and just sort of escaping some of the things that you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. So this energy may come up for some of you during this month of just feeling a sense of overwhelm and you really just want to feel a sense of fulfillment and, and you want to feel happiness and love. And some of you, again, are wanting to bring in a new, a new relationship or romantic relationship into your life. This is a time for you to, to communicate, though, because there is it's the inevitable for prosperity to come into your life. But I feel like in order for that to come into your life, you're going to be tested in some way. This is why this is communication is key and this is a time for you to heal.
Okay, this is a start for some of you, a spiritual awakening. Um, remember, we also pulled 101 starting, um, what does it say? It's starting, starting over. So some of you are starting over in a relationship or a friendship. Um, but there's, I, again, I feel like you're testing the waters in some way, but I don't know if you are feeling empty in some sort of way or will be feeling empty or feeling just exhausted and drained or, you know, you're going out on dates. You're, you know, there's multiple people that you're taking out on dates and you're spending a lot of money. Um, honey, let me tell you, you better go out for coffee. Don't go out for dinners because that gets expensive. <laughs> you better meet up for coffee or something like that. But because it definitely feels like you're um, you're wasting money on something, but I do feel like you're. I'm, I'm feeling like you're exploring your options. You're some of you are waiting for a sign. You're waiting for something that may click with you because it feels like you're missing something. There's almost like an energy of a void, okay? And some of you may be feeling um, this void with other things like work. Um, or just dating multiple people until the right person comes along. Lots of mixed um, energies that I'm feeling here for you, Scorpio, in this overall energy position here. But overall, you're wanting to have fun, okay? Well, have fun and to be playful. An obstacle this month, um, the Nine of Wands is coming up for you. This is an energy of wounds of feeling exhausted and drained. But I do feel like whatever this is, you, you get through it because you definitely are um, a warrior and are the wounded warrior. But... Either way, you're going to be pushing forward um, through something. Let's clarify this. We have the, okay, I'll take all of these. So we have the Princess of Swords coming out, the, the Eon, the Emperor, and the uh, Universe. Okay, so we have, wow, three major arcanas here. Three major arcanas coming out for you here, Scorpio. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing that some of you are exhausted. You're, you're constantly fighting. You, you're, you're fighting. You're trying to prove a point. You're trying to get your point across in some sort of way. And there's just, I feel like there's a lot of things that may be happening around you here. And some of you are needing to, I feel like some of you are needing help. You're needing to make a call. You're needing to delegate in some sort of way. Um, I feel like, some of you are seeing, so for those of you that are that are dating, you're seeing uh, pieces of yourself through the people that you're dating as well. And I'm I'm feeling this this energy of I don't know if I don't know if you like everything that you're seeing, or maybe you're not liking everything that you're seeing in people, which is probably why the hangman came out, where you're seeing things with a clear from a clearer perspective. You're you're seeing things from different angles. Maybe you were not seeing like this before. And now you're seeing things in people that mm, you're just like, ah, I'm not really liking it, which is probably why some of you are, you know, dating multiple people. But again, I still feel like um, I feel this drain that's coming from you. And again, some of you may come off as guarded as you're trying to um, get to know someone and vice versa. Let someone know you, get to know you. Okay. Some of you may be in the energy of, um, needing to be forceful or you are being forceful in some way. Some of you are trying to make things happen and it's not ready to be ha It's not ready to happen. So I, I feel like you got to talk. There's a lot of things that you need to talk about. There's because again, that commitment is being tested in some sort of way. And it feels like in order for things to change, you're going to have to voice things. This might be a lot for some of you because you're holding on to things. Some of you like to have a level of control here as I'm looking at the emperor, um, especially in a relationship. And so for some of you, that level of control is not really speaking your truths or, you know, demanding that someone tell you all about them and you're not fully um, engaging in uh, expressing who you are and what you like. You may express what you like, but you're not fully engaging in expressing who you are as a person. So I feel like there's, it makes me feel like there's pieces of you that you're not sharing with people because that's a level of control that you want to keep. You want to know all about them, but they don't know your full story. I'm picking up that energy. So this is why for some of you, you may be looking in the mirror at some people and it may feel uncomfortable, but this is an opportunity for you to open up and to communicate. Okay. Definitely. So that might be an obstacle that you might face is having to just really 
show who you are here, uh, Scorpio. Where you're headed is a page of pentacles. So this is an energy of this could be someone coming into your life who's, you know, grounded, um, who is very practical, who is down to earth for sure with the page of pentacles here. But this could also be another op a money opportunity coming, coming in for you. Changes in your finances as well. Um, but you may, there may be someone that comes in for you that you see potential in. Um, and it feels, um, it may feel, it may feel authentic to your spirit. Let's see what's coming up for you though. Let's see what's coming up. I'm looking at another number three here as um, the two and the ten here. So we have the tower reverse, two of wands, and then the um, the ten of cups energy. So that two and ten is um, twelve, right? And one plus two is three. So what is it that you're creating? So this tower moment here um, of where you're headed, I, let's see what's coming up because it's this is coming in reverse here. I feel like this is a really deep transformation. I'm what I'm hearing from this from this tower energy here is like um, it's an emergency. Like it's almost like it's imperative for you to change. It's imperative for you to see yourself through some of the people that you're interacting with, so that you can make this change in order to receive what it is that you desire. That's what that feels. The two of wands here is a, this energy of. Um, I'm, I'm hearing change here, seeing a change in your life here. Some of you are needing to make change. Some of you are feeling, you may be feeling powerless, like you don't have dominion over your mind, but you do, okay? You are in control of your actions and your reactions, okay? And this is a very spiritual energy that I'm feeling from this card too. So I feel like some of you are healing or shifting on a deep conscious level and may be in this position of, um, I see things differently. I'm just not sure where to go. I haven't quite made a step yet, but I do feel like there's going to be a change. The Ten of Cups is coming in here, and some of you could be um, conceiving here this month. Uh, there could be some sort of birth announcement. There could be a proposal in some, some sort of way, getting together with someone or being um, engaged to someone. But I do feel like this is you becoming a little bit open. So maybe this Two of Wands energy here is being able to see your future with this new person here. I do feel like this tower, like I said, the tower here that came in reverse, this is the inevitable. But I do feel like you may decide to sort of pour into someone so that you can create a family dynamic. So there's definitely some changes that are coming in for you. And, and it feels like it's realistic. And I think you're okay with being realistic. Um, you are a water sign, so you can be imaginative, but you're not as imaginative as um, Pisces and Cancer. But I do feel like you become, you are a little bit more practical. This is why this person, whoever that may be coming in, Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn energy, it, I feel like the two of you sort of balance each other and you there's traits, traits within the both of you that you see within another. And so I feel like there is a commonality and you feel a sense of connection there. Okay. So definitely someone could be coming towards you here. Like I said, earth sign. Um, and there could be a change in leveling up in love, okay, for some of you, starting a family together, just coming together, because look, I'm looking at all these colors here, and it's just happiness, okay, it's the rainbow, so I think about the happiness, so what's at the end of the rainbow for you, okay, there could be changes in the money, changes in love here for you, but again, I feel like it's a deep soul connection here that you may, be ha that you may have with someone, what's coming towards you as you're walking towards that is the fool, so this is taking a chance. Some of you are needing to take a chance at love and be a little bit spontaneous. Some of you are needing to step out of, outside of your comfort zone. And some of you are needing to let relinqu relinquish control of what of how you normally do things, okay? And maybe this person comes in and um, it, it comes in unexpectedly and um, sort of catches you off guard so you're not in this mind frame of, oh, I have to do it this way. This is the only way that I date or it has to, we have to do it this way first before we can move into this. I feel like you became, you, you gain a sense of spontaneity is what I'm feeling here, okay? We have the four of pentacles here. We have the wheel of fortune, again, the, the number 10 as well, so a new beginning. And then we have the queen of swords, okay? So I feel like with this 
four of pentacles it gives me this vibe of like some of you um, are saving yourself for this person that you're uh, taking a risk with that's what that feels like that you're just like i'm gonna go out on a limb and only commit and, and commit to this person or have you know establish an agreement with this person so some of you may be letting go of other people other suitors that you may be um you know dating and you may focus your energy on one person person because you feel like that this person changes your life in some sort of way or this person has something that the other person doesn't have so i feel like there's this grand this great realization that you have um, as this person is coming towards you, um, you, you, you feel like this is like karma's on your side, that this is something that um, you can see yourself or a person that you could see yourself with in the future. So regardless of any ups and downs or whatever happens, whatever is happening currently, I feel like you have a clearer vision of what the future can be. So you, you decide to move forward with someone. So like I said, it could be an earth sign, could even be an air sign for you, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, as well, this queen of swords energy that is um, showing up for you here. Let me feel into this a little bit more. So I feel like with this Queen of Swords, it may be someone who is very sharp and perceptive, somebody who is sort of like a mother figure, so they cater to you in some sort of way. But they're very wise. They're a teacher. They're very independent. Um, they're unbiased, so they see you. Um, they see you for who you are, okay? But I do feel like this person also sets clear boundaries for themselves, and I feel like you have, that's something that you may admire within them and something that you may also desire within yourself is to be able to have clear boundaries, to still be an individual um, in a relationship, to still fully be able to do you and, and still come together with someone. I feel like also this is someone that is um, creative as well. Someone who also definitely speaks their mind. They could be very sharp with their tongue at times too. The moon, you, um, cancer energy here, also Pisces. I feel like I feel like there's going to be something that's going to be revealed to you about this person or this person is finally going to be revealed to you, someone that you've been waiting for. So again, like I said, if you're dating and there's multiple people, I feel like there's going to be a decision made to choose someone that you're connecting to here. I feel like it's like the light's going to shine on them and you're like, that's the one. Okay, so something is going to be exposed um, at some point. But I'm hearing to take a take a leap of faith on this is what I'm hearing from that card. Yeah. What's happening in your near future is the Knight of Pentacles energy. I'm hearing to take things slow, be patient. We have the uh, seven of the seven of seven of pentacles here. Yeah, definitely be patient because you're definitely working at something, crafting or building this relationship. And I'm hearing to get to know each other. Chariot coming out reversed. We have the Three of Pentacles. So Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles here. Chariot's in the center of that. Some of you may have the light shined on something that could be coming up for you in your near future. Maybe this is a spiritual aspect of yourself. Maybe it's something that someone highlights um, about you that some that you that you can work through here. Whatever this is, I do feel like there's it's necessary to to seek counsel to help you through whatever this is, okay? Because I feel like some of you may feel stuck in something and you feel like you can't move forward, but it definitely feels like this is something that you can't hold on to, you can't work through by yourself, that you need help. So let your partner help you or um, whether that is 
seeking counsel from a professional, um, a spiritual advisor, a religious, um, a religious advisor, someone to help you through this. In order for you to climb to the top, you're going to need, you're going to be able, you're going to need to um, seek help. And some of you are also needing to seek um, or to perform prayer as well. Prayer helping you through that, through that in order to move through something, okay? Because it feels like it's an obstacle or it's something that is too big for you to get through by yourself that you're going to need help. But Spirit is saying to be patient through this, okay? Let this process unfold the way that it's supposed to unfold. So some of you are going to be exploring different aspects of yourself. You're going to be exploring this, different aspects of your person coming together in that way. So this is going to be a process for some of you. So if you are beginning to date someone during this month or you just started to date someone, make sure you're taking things slow as um, what I'm hearing in the very near future that's showing up for you. So moving slow is definitely going to help you get to the top, but it's going to be a process. It feels struggle. You're going to have, it feels like a struggle. You're going to have to build on that. Okay. So remember that. But then again, this is work, but that number three is coming out. You're going to have to find creative ways to get through some of the obstacles that you may face. And for some of you, that may be a lot of the internal things that you may be holding on to. Okay, so remember, this is a time for healing and your commitment is being tested. Communication is the key. What do you desire? How do you want to be fulfilled? What are you craving? Getting through these things and what are your goals? It seems like your ultimate goal is to be happy and to share that happiness with someone. So you're going to have to work through some things. Your advice is the Six of Pentacles. Remain in gratitude. Receive the, get the support that you need um, in order to get through whatever you need to get through. And know that this is an equal giving exchange. So this relationship should not feel one-sided or be one-sided. So make sure that that is um, that's not happening in your dynamic for those of you that are dating someone, okay, whether new or old. We have the Fool coming out. Um, we already had the Fool come out as well. We have the Two of Pentacles, and we also have that Ten of Swords that's coming out for you. So um, Spirit is saying to focus on your heart space this month. Take a risk if you need to. Don't shy away from things that feel uncomfortable. It's pushing you to another level. There are a lot of messages that are coming that are you're opening up to. I feel like this is an opportunity for you to open your heart. Okay, this is what that feels like to open your heart. I'm even feeling um, a forgiveness for some of you. So I don't know if that means you could be taking someone back you know, from the past. I'm looking at the sequence of numbers here, 0, 2, and 10. So it goes in chronological order. Um, it's not chronological, but it goes from, it goes in order, 0, 2, and 10. Again, number 12, 2, 10, 12, 1 plus 2 is 3. That number 3 is coming back out for you again. Okay, then also the number 12 is significant for you as well. Some of you are juggling your thoughts, juggling your finances, juggling multiple people. And it's I feel like it causes a little bit of strife. But there is going to be a, a change that is definitely coming up for you because some of you have been, been feeling imprisoned. But this is a time for you to share, to receive the support, to give support. It's all about sharing wealth, a wealth of knowledge, your finances. Being kind, again, equality in a relationship is most important. Um, it has to be an equal given exchange for this to work, okay, is what Spirit is saying. We have the Hierophant here. Again, this is reminding us that you may need to seek counsel to have someone help you through whatever it is that you have been holding on to that is blocking you, that can't seem to get you past a certain level in a relationship, okay? So that is your advice, your final outcome for this month here. Uh, Scorpio is the five of cups. Okay. And I feel like I've seen, if you've ever seen that number five as well, five, 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 or five, 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 um, that is uh, significant for you as well. We have the devil that is coming out, which is your energy here, Scorpio. We have the seven of swords as well as the nine of pinnacles. Okay. So I'm hearing don't cry over spilled milk. Okay, so there are things, some of you may be in a victim state or you may be holding on to um, baggage from the past that's preventing you from fully showing up and being present and moving um, and making progress in the relationships that you, that you have 
whether that is on a platonic or intimate level, I feel like it keeps you stuck in a way. It's like you go back and forth, like this energy of, um, you know, teetering between wanting to be happy and letting go of the past. Some of you are in that, that gray area of just sort of holding on and haven't let go of a side yet. Okay. So there may be some sense some add some sadness that come up for you. So some of you may even feel some anger or guilt or feel like you've just lost your loss or feeling abandoned or feeling unfocused. That energy may come up for you um, of, you know, of loss here. But, you know, make sure that you're not in a place of being tempted by this devil energy here um, of being chained down just to, to something, addictions or um, whatever that is. For some of you, that could be, you know, sexual addictions, that could be drugs, that could be um, being a workaholic. That's also a thing too. make sure that you're doing things in moderation and not in excess as that devil comes up reminding us that, you know, you can be tempted by things that may uh, bring on a temporarily uh, temporary happiness, but it, it does not, um, I'm hearing, do, do not succumb, succumb to the devil energy, um, but it doesn't give you long-term happiness. So make sure that you're aware of that. The seven of swords energy here. I definitely feel like there is something that weighs on you heavily or something that you think about heavily. And I feel like... <laughs> It feels like everything else that you experience in life is pointing to that one thing. Okay, so if this, for instance, for some of you, this could be, I have everything else in life, but I can't find love. Or I have a bad time falling in love. I can't stay in love. I can't, there's all of these things when it comes to love that it doesn't, you know, it doesn't see. I don't see it through. Um, but I definitely feel like other things that are playing out in your life is definitely pointing to that. So it feels like, again, a time to heal, getting to the root issue of something. And again, forgiveness, whatever you need to do to let go, connecting with fire is very important for you during this month, okay? And also to remember to be in gratitude and celebrate the greatness that's in your life here. There is a gain that is definitely coming for you here, coming up for you with the, with the nine of pentacles here, Scorpio. And I'll feel, I feel like you'll be able to um, feel a sense of relaxation and things are going to be in the flow for you as you're moving forward and creating, but you're going to have to get through a feeling of loss and abandonment and being feeling guilt. All of these lower vibrations that may keep you stuck. Um, it's definitely some of you may need to work with a facilitator to do some energy clearings more than one. You're going to need multiple ones um, to really pull, peel back some layers to get to this place with this nine of pentacles where you feel fulfilled. The knight of disc, more energy. Yeah, this is an energy of fulfilling, of, of being fulfilled. Okay, I feel like it's food for your body, mind, body, and spirit. Okay, so you're needing to heal. And some of you are actually healing through food. So changing up your diet, okay, so that you can feel a lot clearer as well. Okay, what else is here? We have the um, this art card, which is the temperance. Yeah, another point, definitely pointing to healing. Okay. The temperance is here. Guardian angel. So again, um, having a mediator, facilitator, or something that's going to help you, as well as connecting with your guides and angels, is going to help you create this sense of magic and art, sort of painting the town the way that you want to paint the town, okay? Not according to someone else's rule of what they think you should be doing for them or how you should be showing up. So this is you needing to do your own work so that you can understand what fulfills you and what do you crave, what are your goals, how can you be open and vulnerable to new love that is coming in for you. So that is your reading, Scorpio. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, share, Share this video, comment below, like this video as well if this resonates with you. I will see you guys for January mid-month. Enjoy this new year, 2024, a universal eight year. It's all about wealth, abundance, manifestations, and balance, okay? Take care, guys. Many blessings and love and light. Peace.